Um, it's Friday afternoon. Had a really busy morning. I'm waiting on my son Chris to get back. He's welding the exhaust up and uh, repairing it. And then he's uh, got to change one spark plug and one coil pack. And then after that's done, um, Linda and I will be loading up. I ha we have to go do things. Brandon, Nick, and Benjamin are probably by now at Walmart. They're uh, resupplying a bunch of stuff. Um, Linda's in the house. I got her breakfast and brought it to her. She ate it out here in the office. Um, It's been a <laughs> rough day so far. <laughs> I, I'm laughing because it's either that or cry, you know. Um, spoke with Matt and my or Matt this morning. We drove by. They were at Deb's Burgerland eating breakfast. We ate breakfast at a uh, Boomerang, and. Uh, Will uh, Aurora is out. Uh, Ashton's in the parlor watching stuff on the big screen. Shy's out in the yard running. He does that a lot. Uh, Samuel, Walter, and David are in the swimming pool. That's Aurora's out watching them to make sure they don't drown each other or something like that. Um, Biddy Boy and his big sister Zara are in the yard too. They haven't been out here. I, you know, I don't really. I I have the boys picking stuff up for the office. They haven't been to Walmart to get it yet. Um, I'm replenishing my tea supply in here. And uh, crackers for the cracker jar. My grandson Walter brought sacks, one for me, one for Nana, with gifts in them. He brought me three packages of peanut butter crackers to go in a cracker jar and he and uh, an ink pen. He was giving gifts. He brought me this ink pen and a nice card that says I love you. It says Artesian Hotel. And I suspect his mom brought that home. <laughs> I love my grandbabies. They make my life worth living. Um, I uh, let's get this off of here right now. That is my sweetheart at a hospital waiting to uh, get a CAT scan, CT scan. That's my office. It's in disarray. I've got to hire somebody to come repair it again, to clean it again, repair. Might as well say repair. Um, Like I said, yesterday morning I officially shut down my business. Um, this afternoon, Linda and I, when, once her car's done, we do have to go to Walmart. I've got to put money on my burner cards and she needs money on her card. Uh, then uh, I will be, we will be probably driving to Ardmore, maybe Ardmore. I need to, I'm trying, I'm hunting for a, a uh, hunting for a pickup. I'd like to get a small one. 
I don't want I want something gas efficient a um, little Toyota and Nissan there's one like Jerry's that's in Texas saw it on marketplace and he wanted like three thousand dollars for it the problem is um, that's usually a come on and you get there and they say well I sold that but I've got this and it's a Mexican that's selling it let me explain something I'm not bigoted I don't have a prejudiced bone in my body uh, myself and my siblings are the offspring of a biracial marriage period you know um, I, my problem I have, and I've discussed this with my son Nick and with others, you'll see these uh, south of the border guys that are probably here illegally driving a, a vehicle hauler that'll hold one above the truck and then it's got a trailer behind it that has two or three cars on it and it, it's a flat trailer and they'll be in a, a convoy going back down to Texas and um, each one of those be hauling at least four vehicles and I've also seen them have them on a, a tow bars one tow bar behind the pickup that's pulling them and then three cars behind it each one with a tow bar on the bumper the one in front of it. They go to auctions, they go everywhere and they buy these. Now why would they be doing that? Well, I'm going to give you my opinion and it is my opinion but it's based on some actual experience and some investigation. A lot of times, I'm not saying all the time, but a lot of the time they're doing that because they'll haul them back down to South Texas they'll make sure they run and then they'll ferry them right across our southern border into Mexico and they'll sell those cars to the drug cartels down there that way they have vehicles for their uh, their drug mules to get narcotics up here, illegal drugs up here into the United States. We've got one right out there in the pasture. It's a Suburban that was left at the pie shop Jerry gave to, to Nick. It's the same year as his and yeah we've been robbing parts off of it but it too was a known drug running vehicle. We've not torn into it. I've got the, the third row seat in my van out there I've decided I'm gonna I'm not gonna butcher that old van. I'm gonna find what I need for it one way or the other. But it won't be our alternative vehicle. It'll be just me personally to have my old truck. However, in the meantime, Linda and I are going to be looking. Um, it gives us a chance to get away and I'll be packing two pew pews, the big one under my bib and then a smaller one in my boot while we go and look. It's so like I said yesterday, I'm not going to allow anybody to molest my wife or anyone I love and care about in any way, shape, fashion, or form. Uh, I, uh, I thought I'd do this vlog while I had a chance to do it it's a uh, Chris had been working on the exhaust on the car he should have it done if he's back it won't take him long then he's got to finish the tune up and then he gets paid the rest of the money and then Nana and I my sweetheart and I will get into it and we'll go uh, take a look at some stuff best way I can describe what we're going to do. I do need to go load it with gas. Um,
I probably ought to bust a little money out of the pawn, pawn shop, out of the bank to uh, make sure that I've, I've got traveling money. I've not done that. It's been an expensive morning this morning already. And it's liable to be an expensive afternoon. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, it, it's life, you know. It costs money to live. Um, there's Linda's rooster again. Boy, he went through the grist mill. He, uh, Benji's dog got him down twice. Uh, anyway, what is that? Yeah, and look, a squirrel. Okay, that's my receipt for the uh, parts for Nana's car. I need to put that in my drawer. Spoke with my sweetheart, and she's agreed we're going to be. Uh, We're, she and I are going to be working together on some stuff, and it will be work. She'll enjoy it. She enjoyed coming out here this morning and sitting while she ate her breakfast. She likes spending time with me. Years ago she wouldn't have, but right now she does. Uh, I'm a nicer guy than I used to be, very much so, and I'm making sure I stay that way, or at least trying to. Uh. We had a prophecy class over at Lodge 3 last night, and Mike's mother and father were there. They're super nice people. I really like them. And uh, they asked some, some good questions. Uh, the highest mark I got was 75%. Uh, <laughs> that's to be expected. Uh, we have Stranger Things, the new episodes, starting tonight. Linda and I are looking forward to watching that. Uh, I've just got other stuff. I know it's the 4th of July weekend, and I know it, the, there's going to be a lot of traffic. However, I do want to go take a peek at some stuff. Um, I'm not going to even bother to investigate any kind of vehicles in Sulphur. There's not a car lot over there. And I really don't want to buy a vehicle off a car lot. Uh, it would have to be really good and the price would have to be really right. Um, boy, that old train of thought just evaporated right out of my head. Um, I've been working on getting my hand feeling better, been doing a lot of this. I used to have a, a uh, exercise thing for it. I don't have it anymore, but uh, it's helping reduce a lot of the pain in it. Now, I suppose that those of you watching this are having a good day. I shouldn't. Anytime you assume something, it makes an ass out of you and out of me. You know, pointing a finger. You got one finger pointing at someone else and three pointing back. Yeah, that's my cliche for today. Um, I try to not be controversial on this channel because I've already had two strikes, one more and it's gone. Um, I uh, And I plan on approaching the other one as a business I, and I'll start doing that probably Tuesday or Wednesday. I've not done it yet in this first two weeks of August the kids go back to school so it will be just Biddy Boy here 
I hear the dogs yelping, that means someone showed up. Uh, probably Chris coming back to help. Uh, ow! Got a cramp in my left calf. That's one thing they're picking up for me is more potassium. I'm out. I get leg cramps really bad. Um, had a lot of damage to my legs. And, uh, that's a different story for a different time, and it's boring. I'm a. Today's going to be a busy day. Tomorrow, not so much so. So I'll probably get out here. The Aurora and Shine Ashes mom's coming to see them, take them, doing whatever. So it uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, and while they're gone, odds are Linda and Benjamin and Zara Rose and Benji Jr. are going to be in that car and go do something as well. Get the, the babies a bye-bye, something enjoyable. Um, and I forgot that there are child locks on those back doors. Um, Now, before I sign off of this thing, the all-important sign is right there. What is that sign? No, not the one that says KRNB, KNBRED, KN Bread Radio. The one that says right there, be kind. And that's something all of us need to concentrate on is being kind. And remember this, this crippled old fat guy, ugly as I am, loves you with his whole heart, and I want God to bless you. Now, bye.